Hey, good morning, Christy. Good morning. How are we doing? We're doing well, thank you. Just finishing up our cuts for the day. Good, good, good. Welcome everybody. Uh, Steve Stack, Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, Canfield, Ohio. We've got a neat project and, and we're starting to take advantage of a soon to be revealed uh, workshop slash studio where we're gonna be doing some projects like what we're gonna do today. We've recruited Christy from Oak Hill Millworks. Yeah, hi guys, thanks for having uh, me. Came across this morning to give us a hand. She's, she's the knowledge and I'm just here to oversee. So yeah. we're gonna have fun. So uh, what we're, what we're going to take you through today is great spring project. It's a Western red cedar potting bench, a garden potting bench. I have one at home. Uh, we use it, especially coming into the planting season with the gardens and the flower pots and all this and that. And it's a nice little yard ornament, really. It's something you, you put out, leave out. Hopefully today we're going to give folks some instructions is a couple different options how you can assemble this set. What's that, what's that new tool that we're gonna to introduce today? Baird has available the brand new 720 Pro pocket hole jig from Craig, and you will be seeing us use that today. That was like somebody gave you uh, a gift certificate for dinner when you saw this thing. I'm so, so excited, excited to use it. Well, it's a really <laughs> smart system. It knows what depth you need to drill just by getting going on it. We'll show you. And if you don't have it, we have another way to show you. You can get this kit going. So, yep. should we get going on the project? What do you think? Let's start getting some material up and, and see what we can do to get this thing put together. Sounds good. So this is our basic framework for the top and bottom shelf. So we can go ahead and start laying it out. If you have a workbench, great. If not, just spread it out on the floor of your workspace. With the Naughty uh, Inland Cedar, you'll have a milled face and then you have the natural rough face right off of the mill. Yeah. So because it is kind of a rustic project, I kind of kept it in my mind to keep the rustic side turned out, yeah. the appearance side. So when we get around to putting a, a protective coating on this, whatever, whatever our choice or the homeowner's choice might be, it, it really intensifies and, and brings that rough, that rough cedar to life. I agree, that's what I would do. We're gonna show a couple different options as far as assembly goes. How, how do you wanna proceed with this one? There's a lot of ways to go about it. If it were me at home, I would just go basic and I would do a little bit of glue where all the uh, where all the ends of the wood meet. And then you can either drive screws through the ends here and here, if you have a screw gun, or if you have a brad nailer, that's another really good option. You can do pocket holes, but I don't think that's totally necessary for this type of a build. So I say we just brad nail it. Okay, so going back to a point that you made, we're using another product that we offer here at Baird Brothers. We have the whole family of type one products. This is their ultimate wood glue, waterproof for yeah. interior, exterior use, and it, and it strengthens the whole assembly process. That stuff is extremely strong. So the green one, Type On 3, is the one that's rated for water. So you're gonna wanna use TB3. You can look up uh, brake tests online. It will never break on the glue joint. The, the wood will actually snap before the glue seam does. And you try and be neat when you're working with the wood glue, but guess what? If you're gonna be a woodworker or a carpenter, that's what the blue jeans are for. If this were me working by myself at home, I'd try to clamp this whole thing because then I, that's like my second pair of hands. Two's good. Sometimes you hear, you hear guys talking about what's, what's their most valuable tool in the shop. This is one of them. I love the combination square. Combination tri-square. We can adjust that and we can just work that piece nice and plumb and square for just that real nice appearance. We're taking the time to build this morning right. and we want, we want it to turn out nice and we want it to look like we cared. We do care. Let's make it square because we care. Sometimes the cedar boards, and it's very common and it's, and it's acceptable in the grade of the cedar, you get this, this runoff or this wane. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're gonna turn that down. 
Same thing over here. Yep. I could see this actually doubling as a grill cart. Could hang up all your spatulas and accessories. Okay, right, stand her up. Okay, so like I say, uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, reinforce that with these, these Craig exterior screws. So along with that Baird Brothers workbench top, uh, and we've introduced you to that new Craig 720 this morning, Craig also makes a great framework for these carts to attach one of our workbenches to. And you can see how easy that was. You can roll it around anywhere in your shop and still have that great work surface. So Craig's a great partner of ours. And uh, I know you use some of their product at, at your shop, Christy. I do. And again, this Western Red Cedar is not an inland cedar. It has great porosity, so that allows this glue to really do a job on it. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. All right, see how we did. Let's swing around. How about that? Right. Not bad, that's gonna be a nice size. We need some shelves. All right, so we just got our boards cut to length for the bottom shelf. Go ahead and test fit them first to make sure we're on the right track. Okay, Chrissy, how do you want to do that? You want to go to the five and a half, four and a half? Yeah, it's nice to break them up for aesthetics. So we have a one by six, one by five, another one by six, and a one by four in the back. All right, so a lesson I learned the hard way. Never cut to your final length right away. Get close and then clean it up later. That way you don't have to go buy more wood. Okay, so that, that makes a nice wide work surface, Christy. And uh, on the bottom, I went ahead and did a little separation to give a great effect. Nice. So yeah, some of the soil and debris can you know, wash itself down through there. And then to this, we're gonna take, I, I think it might, might look nice. I know we have a, a one by four element coming up this back yeah. for a couple other things that the plan calls for. And that'll allow us to put a nice little apron out here on the end caps, kind of like lock it. everything together. What do you think? That looks great. Okay, let's start getting some of, uh, some of these shelf caps uh, nailed down. What we'll need to do is transfer the lines we made on the top just around the side here, okay. or you can eyeball it you know, by this. Nice. And then we can lock that bad boy on there and we can do some of the Craig fastening. That's pretty sweet. All right, yeah, the pocket hole, the pocket hole is really sweet and it, it'll just give this some additional strength. So this isn't a bad little project. This would be a, a nice one day project at home uh, with minimal tools. Yeah, especially if you get a fully cut kit. Stitch it. So with that wider one by six, Christy, I see you're, you're going three nails rather than the two on some of the four and a half and three and a half inch boards. That's smart. 
that'll, uh, that'll really pull that board down to the uh, framework. And if we take a quick peek, you did good. None of them came out the front of the fascia board. He can't handle it. But look at that nice work surface. It's really pretty. I mean, that's gonna be plenty deep. Nice. You know, set a flat of flowers on, your pots over there, your mixing soil, yeah. have at it. You know, start to, start to do some of those beautiful baskets for the upcoming spring and summer. We did have a little bit of glue squeeze out here. It's no big deal. You can either use your finger or a wet rag and it'll take care of it. Now, we can do, you want to do, the top cap? do our cap and our lattice, and we're getting close to the end. Now there is an option on this. If you wanted to put in collapsible plant hangers, you can go a lot of different directions with this. Okay, right. let's keep going. Okay, so as we wrap up this build, we are putting on some dental molding, aptly named because once it will be all spaced out, it kind of looks like teeth. We'll do our end moldings first so that we can find our center and place the remaining pieces. Good? Okay, Chris, so while I cut some pieces for the lattice work, you wanna see and yep. uh, come up with some, some type of spacing when we'll finish those, those dental blocks up and- Sounds good. We're headed down the home stretch. Okay, Christy, so we're doing the same thing on this lattice. We'll, we'll get ourselves a little gauge block and we'll see if we're right. We'll pop this back out. We've got our locator pencil marks. Dab of glue, dab of glue, double pin, double pin. Okay? Okay. And then we'll set that next one. Did a quick swap out to only inch and a quarter brad nails because we're working with two pieces of three quarter inch material. Inch and a half is obviously the same thing as two three quarter inch pieces of material and we don't want it to go through. Last piece. There it is. Should I label it? <laughs> it's been fun. Thanks for having me. Hey, no problem. And we enjoy having all you folks. We did some revisions along the way and that's okay, make it your own. You got a lot of surface space to mount stuff. Start some plants, some, some climbers in here and, and you know, by the time you're done planning, now you have a piece of yard art. The lumber package that we're putting together for this, you'll be able to accomplish this look along with the blueprints. Like and follow, shoot us your projects. Show us some of the stuff you've been doing with, with uh, our lumber and so forth. And uh, you know what? It's gonna be a fun sum. It's gonna be a fun one. If you do this project, make sure you tag Baird Brothers so they can see your progress.